Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to my channel Physics Dude and today we are going to learn the topic current and electricity and that is the lecture one of that. So let's check out its difficulties. So its difficulties tell that it is for class 10 and class 9 and the topic is very average but don't worry about that we will learn it very easily. So let's move on. Alright, so we know that each and every material is made by atom and each and every atom got nucleus in its center which is positive made by neutron and photon and the electrons are revolving around it in various orbitals. Okay, so let's check out the last orbital that is called valence orbital where the present electron is very weak and if it's not completing the octet we can easily pull it out by giving some extra energy okay so whenever we're giving some extra energy it will be come out from it now there are so many electrons in a present material so as one electron is coming out from one atom they are moving to another one again it is moving from this to another one that is how the electrons flows from one end to another of a material so this is my conductive material where these electrons are moving like this and they are known as free electron now coming to the definition of free electron or charge carrier okay so total amount of free electrons flow through a conductive material is known as total charge of that material okay so q that is the total charge of that material n is the number of free electrons present in that material e and e is the charge of that electron and the charge of that electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay okay so now we are going to discuss some important question related to charge. So the first question is that what is the SI unit of charge? The SI unit of charge is Coulomb that can be denoted by C. So there are so many short question can arise from it. One milli Coulomb that means we know when we convert one milligram to gram that will be 10 to the power minus 3 gram. Similarly, in here, 1 milli coulomb, 2 coulomb, 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb, the same scale we are measuring over here. Now, 1 micro coulomb, remember always for the micro stuff, we use 10 to the power minus 6. After that, 1 nano coulomb, that is 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. And lastly, 1 pico coulomb, P for pico, 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb. That is all. Now moving to that number three question. What is the mass and charge of an electron? That is the vital thing. You have to remember it. Keep it in your mind. Mass 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Charge minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. But remember that minus sign. We often not provide that just because you are providing the charge of an electron so you can write that but that got some restriction we will discuss this later all right so moving to the question number four that is the sum a conductive material can contain minus 16 into 10 to the power 9 coulomb charge find out the number of electron present in that material suppose we got a material that must contain some free electron. So we have to find the total number of free electron in it and also the total charge contained by that material is provided. Okay. So the charge of an electron I just told you that is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So I am considering let n number of electrons are present in that material. So total charge, total charge Q equal to N into the charge of one electron. 
that is how suppose we got two electrons in that so if we multiply that two into this that will be 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so while you are multiplying the number of electron with the charge of an electron you are getting the total charge that is the concept so i am rearranging this one and as as you can see minus minus are cancelling each other 10 to the power minus 19 also cancelling each other 16 and 16 are cancelling each other but one decimal point is there so for that another 10 is coming as a reciprocal option and we are getting 10 as the result so n equal to 10 that is the number of electron i should say free electron present in that material this should be the answer that's all for today thank you for your time and don't forget to like share and subscribe